There's a lot of evil families in the world that use their power and influence to control the masses for their own selfish gain, and when it comes to this era, they had no problem flaunting that power. Hi, my name is Jessa, and please join me as we look together at top 10 evil families from the Dark Ages. Number 10, the Borgias. The Borgia family, originating from Spain, rose to prominence during the Italian Renaissance in the late 15th century. The family played a significant role in both escalating political affairs, and they are often associated with intrigue, political maneuvering, and accusations of corruption. Rodrigo Borgia, who became Pope Alexander the 6th in 1492, is one of the most well-known members of the Borgia family. His papacy was marked by accusation of nepotism, corruption, and political scheming. Cesar Borgia, the son of the Pope, was a key figure in the family's political ambitions. He served as a military commander and played a role in the complex power struggles of the Renaissance Italy. Lucrezia Borgia, the daughter of the Pope, used her marriages as a strategic ploy and was even accused in involving with poisons. The Borgia family faced numerous accusations, including alleged bribery, simony, and immoral behavior. Some historical accounts suggest that they even used their influence in the papacy for personal gain. Of course, that's pretty not surprising. The Borgia family's legacy had been subjected with fascination and controversy. Various historical and fictional works include books, television series, and films have depicted the Borgias as often emphasizing their political maneuvering, ambition, and alleged moral fa failings. Number 9. Merovorgians One historical debate revolves around the question of why the Merovorgian kings experienced a decline in their authority. Some historians argue that the internal strife, weak leadership, and the rise of powerful noble families and mayors of the palace contributed to the decay of royal power. Others suggest that the kings intentionally adopted a more symbolic role while real power shifted in regional leaders. The role of women in this political family was a society in an era of historical interest and debate. Some historians argue that the Mavorgian queens such as Brunhilde and Fergagun played a significant role in political affairs and intrigue while others emphasize the limitation imposed on women in that societal context. And like in many historical dynasties, the Mavorgians faced disputes over succession which sometimes led to violence violence and internal conflicts. The lack of a clear and consistent system of secession contributed to their instability. Number 8. House of Plantagenet The House of Plantagenet, a royal house that ruled in England from the 12th to the 15th century, was marked by several controversies and events. One of the early controversies was involved with a sudden death of Thomas Becket, a Archbishop of Canterbury, in 1170. Becket and the King Henry II had a conflict over the authority of the church, and Becket's death in the Canterbury Cathedral led to a significant tension between the crown and the church. King John faced a rebellion by his barons due to perceived control of power, and in 1215, he reluctantly signed the Magna Carta, a document that aimed to limiting the king's power and establishing certain legal protections for subjects. The signing of the the Magna Carta is a landmark event in the development of constitutional principles, and Richard III, the last Plantagenet king, is often associated with the mysterious disappearance of his nephews, the young Edward V and his brother Richard. In the Tower of London, specifically, was the last of their known place. The fate of the princes is a historical mystery, and Richard III has been accused of ordering their death. Number seven, House of Alloy. The House of Alloy faced internal conflicts, external threats, and controversies that shaped the political landscape of the medieval and early modern France. These challenges contributed to the broader history historical developments and transitions in European history during this period. The Hundred Year War, a conflict between England and France, began during the reign of Philip VI of Alloy. The war had a significant political, economic, and social consequences for both countries. Battles, again, such as the Agnicourt of 1415 and the Joan of Arc's involvement, further fueled the controversies during this period. The Treaty of Troyes was a controversial agreement that recognized Henry V of England as the heir to the French throne, and it disinherited the Dauphin of Charles. The Valois dynasty had complex relationships, while other European powers, including the Bourguignon, Dukes, and the Habsburgs. Marriage alliances and conflict with these houses influenced the courses of European politics and sometimes resulted into controversial outcomes. Number 6. The Carolingians The controversial and challenges faced by the Carolingians dynasty reflect in the complex political, social, and economic dynasties of their time. The eventual fragmentation and decline of the Carolingian Empire paved the way for the rise of new political entities, restructuring of medieval Europe. After the death of Louis the Pious, the empire faced internal strife over succession. The Treaty of Verdun in 843 divided the empire into three parts. Among Louis' three grandsons, marking the beginning of the separate kingdoms of West Francia, East Francia, and Middle Francia. This division contributed to the fragmentation of the Carolingian realm, and the Carolingian Empire faced repeated Viking raids and invasions during the 9th century. These raids led to widespread devastation, economic disruption, and challenges to the Carolingian authority. The inability to effectively repel Viking incursions raised questions about the empire's ability 
to provide security. And the internal struggles, the power struggles, conflict among the rulers and their noble supporters were reoccurring issues among the time. Civil wars such as rebellions against Charles the Bald, great name, in West Francia and Louis the German in East Francia and high highlighted the instability within the empire. Number five, House of Lusignan. The House of Lusignan, the medieval French noble family, which again, my bad if I can't say their name, I mean, I think they're still around, became particularly notable for its involvement in various European regions, including Cyprus and the Kingdom of Jerusalem during the Crusades. Guy of Lusignan, a member of the Lusignan family, became the King of Cyprus after the conquest of the island by Richard of the Lionheart during the Third Crusade. This event marked the beginning of the Lusignan dynasty rule in Cyprus, however, the circumstances of Guy's rule was very controversial as he faced opposition from local nobles and factions. The Lusignanans were also involved in the Kingdom of Jerusalem during the Crusades. The loss of Jerusalem in Saladin in 1187 was a significant blow and the subsequent attempts to regain control faced challenges. The fall of Acre in 1291 marked the end of the Crusaders' presence in the Holy Land. James II of Cyprus faced controversies during his reign, marked by conflicts by the Venetians and internal oppositions, and his rule was characterized by the political intrigue and financial difficulties, and he eventually abdicated in favor of his daughter, Charlotte. The Lusignanans were initially a prominent noble family in France before branching out to other regions, and their involvement in various political and military activities in France added to the family's overall historical significance. Number four, the House of Lancaster and York. As mentioned in number five, was initially a prominent noble family in France before branching out to other regions. Their involvement in various political and military activities in France added in the family's overall historical significance. As we know from number eight, one of the most enduring controversies of the War of the Roses is the fate of the young princes in the tower, Edward V and his brother Richard, who disappeared while under the guardianship of their uncle, Richard III. The mystery surrounding their disappearance had led to various theories, including possibilities of their death and the execution of Richard, Duke of York, the father of Edward IV and Richard III, was a pivotal event that intensified hostilities between the houses. It set the stage for further conflicts and fueled the desire for vengeance. The Battle of Tow Town was one of the largest, bloodiest battles of the War of Roses. The Yorkist victory of Tow Town secured the throne for Edward IV, but was resulted in significant casualties that further enmity between the houses. The War of Roses left a lasting impact on the English history, shaping the course of the monarch and influencing the subsequent events. Number three, the House of Draculesti. Vlad the Impaler belonged to the House of Draculesti, a noble family with the ties of the Order of the Dragon, a chivalric order. The name of Draculesti is often associated with the Romanian word Dracul, meaning devil or dragon. The association of the dragon is sometimes linked to the title Dracula, famously associated with the vampires in later folklore. Vlad's father, Vlad II, was the member of an order of the dragon. However, the circumstances surrounding his reign and relationship with other nobles, including political allegiance and conflicts, have been subject of historical debate. Vlad and his younger brother, Radul, was held captive by the Ottoman Empire as a form of assurance for their father's loyalty. Vlad's imprisonment and the events that led to his release are not entirely entirely clear and there are different accounts of the conditions of his captivity and return to Wallachia. One of the most controversial and notorious events associated with Vlad the Impaler is the night of is the night attack of the Trevogati in 1462. After claiming the throne, Vlad launched a brutal campaign against the Ottomans and his political rivals. Thousands were reportedly impaled on long sharp stakes earning him the epithet the Impaler. The controversial aspect of Vlad's rule has contributed to his lasting legacy in folklore, popular culture, as Bram Stoker's Dracula drew inspiration from Vlad the Impaler. The character of Count Dracula is often associated with this historical figure. Number two, House of Sforza. House of Sforza initially gained power in Milan through military prowess. Francesco Sforza, the founder of the dynasty, married Bianca Maria Visconti, an illegitimate daughter of the last Visconti du Duke of Milan, and seized control of the city. This military takeover raised questions about the legitimacy of their rule, as Galenzio Maria Sforza, son of Francesco, faced controversy during his rule due to his lavish lifestyle, patronage of the arts, and alleged of tyranny. His reign was marked by political intrigue, cruelty, and a focus on personal indulgence leading to both administration and criticism. But then Galizio Maria Sforza was assassinated in 1476, allegedly by his conspirators by his own court. The circumstances surrounding his assassination and identities of the perpetrators are subjects of historical debate. Some believe that his own relatives were involved with the plot, as Ludovico Sforza, also known as Ludovico Il Moro, usurped power from his nephew, whom he had previously served as regent. And the Sforza family was known for its intricate political maneuvers, forming alliances with various Italian states and European powers. These alliances sometimes led to conflicts and controversies as the family navigated the complex web of Renaissance diplomacy. And finally at number one, the Habsburgs. Haas's family has expanded as one of the longest reigning as well as one of their two branches, both Spanish and Dutch relations. This family is the most evil as they use their political powers and means to control so many countries around the world. Countries that still hold their colonial rule in their culture, food, language, and in some cases their name. Philip II of Spain, a member of the Habsburg dynasty, was a staunch supporter of the Catholic Church and the Spanish Inquisition. The Inquisition was responsible for persecuting heretics and religious deniers and its methods were brutal and controversial. Maximilian I, Holy Roman Empire and member of the Habsburg family,
family, dealt harshly with the Anabaptists during the German Peasants' War. He ordered the execution of Anabaptist leaders, contributing to religious tensions in the Holy Roman Empire. And Ferdinand II, Habsburg ruler of the Holy Roman Empire, played a central role in the Thirty Year War. His policies aimed at recatholizing areas that had adopted Protestantism led to widespread conflict, destruction, and loss of life. The assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand, heir to the Austrian Hungarian War, was a key trigger for the World War I. The subsequent action of the Habsburgs led Austrian Hungarian Empire in issuing an ultimatum to Serbia and entering the war had profound and far reaching consequences. As his family ties into so many conflicts in war as a result of loss of life, is why they're number one due to their obsession in this era as time of expansion of land and rulership and religion. Well, that's all for this list, and anyways, the last video I was in, I gave a riddle, which was what word in the English language spelled backwards? The answer is backwards. Now for the next riddle, what is the head of a llama and the tail of a seagull? I'll reveal the answer in the next video, top 10 ancient civilizations who performed unspeakable acts. And that's all for today, thank you for joining me. My name is Jessa, be sure to like and subscribe, and learn a musical instrument or something. Anyways, bye!